Hello, Pastor Doug, back again with another Bible Brief. Today, I want to answer the question someone posed to me recently. Pastor, for you, what is the hardest theological concept in the Bible? And I thought of it for a moment, and I gave an answer which I think surprised the person because it wasn't hell or the end times. But this is, for me, the thing I've pondered for years, and that is the difference between soul and spirit. Almost every summer, I assign myself a particular theological topic or historical topic from the church that I'm going to study on my, on my own because the summer slows down, it's in New England, and so I take something and I study it, and I chew on it, and I try to think it out. The only topic I've ever studied that I failed on was the distinction between soul and spirit. And the problem is, sometimes the words mean the exact same things, Sometimes they're different, but sometimes soul can mean A and spirit mean B, but other times soul can mean B and spirit means A. Well, to get to our verse, let me just give you one, Hebrews 4.11. For the word of God is living and active and sharper than a two-edged sword, amen, piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit, of both joints and marrow and able to judge the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. This is a difficult verse, because it shows you, well, the meaning is obvious. I mean, the big part is clear. But this distinction of soul and spirit, they are different things, according to Hebrews 4.12. But you notice they're very much related, joints and marrow. Those are very closely related things. Now, the word for soul is... Suke, where we get our word psychology. Technically, psychology is the study of the soul, but <laughs> tell that to most secular psych psychiatrists, that'd be interesting, their response. Spirit is where we, is the word pneuma, where we get uh, air. It's spirits like the air. You know, God breathes into us. And we get words like pneumatic from. The meaning of the two is very similar. They're all about the inner self. And I've given you here different uh, two different dictionary definitions. If you notice, they get very similar because you have the inner self and they have the inner being. They're very closely related. And so what exactly is the difference? Here's my answer. I'm not sure. There is a clear difference. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 However, they're very closely related. As a matter of fact, they're very closely related to this word, the heart. When the Bible talks about the heart, it really is not talking about the organ most of the time. It's talking about the inner life of our mind, our intellect, our will, our emotions, our desires, which are very much come from our soul and spirit. So what are the differences? Forgive me for giving you not a clear answer. Not much, but there is a difference. Well, if you have any thoughts, leave in the comments. I hope that helps. And as always, Christ's grace and peace to you all. Amen.